All right, bro, I started watching this, and I was thinking, I got to make a reaction video to this. Bro, listen to this shit right here. Child, like the first time she come up to my job, you know, she's causing commotion at my job, yelling and screaming, talking about, I'm gonna come back up here every day until you get fired and give me back what's yours. So I'm asking her, like, well, what's yours? What's yours? She says, Malcolm. Well, my man that's in my house that I've been together with for six years, clearly he's not yours anymore because you're an ex. But doing it kept causing commotion. I couldn't get my boss to like understand the situation I was going through and I end up getting fired from that job because of that. Imagine getting fired cause some bitch keeps coming up to your job fucking with you. At what point do you need to, uh, all right. <laughs> At what point do you need to just fall off on her ass? Ms. Harris, did you get Ms. Osborne fired from her job? Sure did. And, and, sure and did. tell me, what were you trying to accomplish? Getting her fired from her job. Why? Because I don't like her. Why? I just don't. I'm just one of those people. If I don't like you, I don't like you. She don't have yeah, no reason. So, Miss Johnson, you're saying you're a cunt. Hang she on, like hang me. on, Miss Osborne. Miss Harris, yes. do you not like her because she took your man from you? She didn't take him. I was through with him when she got him. So, if you're through with him, why would you come up and ask for him back? Hey, by the way, uh, not Miss Johnson, Miss Harris. That's what I meant to say earlier. Just wanted to clear, clear that up. I don't know. It's just so crazy. I can't keep up with names, bro. I don't know, man. I think at the time, um, I kind of missed him a little bit. So, I just... You I wanted him back? Or you just didn't no, like the idea... Of, wanted, oh, never interrupt me. I'm sorry. You just didn't like the idea of him having somebody new. Damn, she really put in the place right there for once. <laughs> you heard that? She said, bitch, don't you ever interrupt me in your life. <laughs> She's the first time be the last time, motherfucker. Oh, uh, I just wanted to have sex with him. She wasn't even the problem. And so you thought it was important enough. Having sex with him was important <laughs> enough <laughs> to have. Did you see that nigga in the back? Hold on. Not even the problem. Look at you, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and so you thought it was important enough. Having sex with him was important enough to have a woman, a fellow black woman with a child and make her lose her income that she feeds her baby with. You thought it was that important to go there with that. I mean, we had previous arguments like over the phone because like I said, me and him. See, uh, guys, I want you to, ladies and gentlemen, like I want y'all to pay attention to this because this is how a thought's brain works. Now you see the judge, she was like, okay, she's a mother. Uh, this is her job. This is how she feeds the kids. She's like, okay, why would you disregard all that and get her fired? This, look, listen to what this thought says right here. We're friends after we broke up. So, like, I would call them and check on them and stuff like that. Hey, how you doing? You know, she would get mad, get on the phone, talk crazy to me. So, it's like, okay, whatever. You want to play? I can play, too. So, that's what it became. When she got fired, I mean, I felt bad a little bit, but. No, yeah, really. I know you didn't. No, but not you really. didn't. No, you a came bit, in here but not really. and and you spouted that firing like you had you had accomplished something. And whoo, who do you see as the primary instigator in difficulties between the woman with whom you live and have a child and your ex? Well, really, I feel like it's all started off because. Do you see how like, quiet he got? This nigga's a simp. Now, now he was like, strong like, earlier, okay, okay. but this I, one stood up. He's between the two of them, and he's now very, very mellow. But go ahead, Mr. Johnson. Bro, she really planned, like, all three of these niggas, bro. bro. <laughs> I won't say all three, because the one on the left, I mean, I guess she is the same one in this situation. But, bro, she really just clowning everybody, bro. you love to see it. Let's really? continue. Really, you know, I, I can't put myself in between they few because it's really off of mixed emotions because I used to go with her and I'm in love with her now. So it's not really, I don't feel like who's to blame for it, but really I just feel like they just mad at each other because they both love me and what I can do for them, you know? Well, do you believe that you ought to do something about it? Well, if I... I I can't change I can't change the next person emotions and feelings, but I could try to step into it and make some means between it, but they gotta change themselves. You well, know? you know, but you but you don't feel yes. you have any obligation and there's nothing you can do to make the situation less explosive. You think you're just 
They both can hide me if they wanted to like that, but they, it's not that type of way. They I'm both fine. can what? <laughs> they both can hide me, he but you know they don't want it that type him. of way, you know? We so like, what you're saying is, you think polygamy is the answer? Yes. Having more than one wife. Well, I don't want yes. her as my wife. We only are friends, but, you know, the things that we do for each other, we make each other happy as good friends. And I'm always make her happy because that's my wife. You know, I'm always love her. Not, you know, saying like that, but I see her you as my wife. Now, and you I love see her. I just love her, but, but I just but love don't the things you that believe she do. This nigga's a clown. How he gonna be like, well, she's my wife while you're standing next to another bitch? <laughs> That as, as seeing her as your wife, she has your child. Don't you believe your obligation is first to her, her comfort and her security before it is that of an ex? Okay, listen, I love her, but I love that she's here for me because she makes me happy. When I'm there for her, it's just about anything that she wants. It's not I about... Gotcha. It's, not, it's, it's not a two-way street here. Not, you say it's, it's a one-way street. It's just one way. So to get any care, you have to go over there. Yes. Okay. Was your relationship a one-way street? Okay, the source of the problem really is, is that she burned down her house just to come move in with us. So now she's... What? Her relationship, a one-way street. Okay, the source of the problem really is, is that she burned down her house. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, this shit is crazy, bro. Thought burns down her own house to move in with a side nigga. <laughs> Just to come move in with us. So now she's living with us because he told me that if I don't let her live with us, that he. White people in the front row looking like, what are these niggers up to? <laughs> gonna be through with me. And I think she burned down the house on purpose because she didn't accept no help from American Red Cross that normally put you in a hotel, find you new housing. She Bro, I got a question. What type of people fucking, like, go to a courtroom to watch a fuck? Like, bro, like, who are these random people in the background? Like, did y'all pay to come and watch this, bro? I don't know. That, that's that's almost a little more weird than burning down your own house. It's at my house. And also, when I came when, in... When did this happen? How long has she been at your house? For about two months now. Two months? Now, did your house burn down? Yes. And you moved in with them? Yes. M Mr. Johnson, how did you I pull did. that off? <laughs> Mad the trick out the hat. But it was basically, you know... It was my day. I just wanted to look out for a friend. She's a good person. I wouldn't just leave her out in the streets no more than if our house burned down. She wouldn't leave us out in the streets no matter if we had an old she, issue. She would leave us out in the streets. She would leave you out in the streets. Yes, because that is my friend. So, yeah. Whether whether or not they had gotten to arguments or the, you know, the display, whatever, it would have mounted up. She still been there for me. So I wanted to be there for her. She always was there for me, though. I wasn't trying to put in How a boundary line like it's you or me. How is in your home? Ooh. Chaotic. I be gone most of the time. You be gone most of the time. And you two are sitting in the house together? Yes. I'm starting to like this guy more and more. He seems a little smarter than me. <laughs> He's like, I be gone most of the time. I don't deal with it. <laughs> And are you fussing and fighting like this the whole time? Majority, but not really. I mean, if the kids are around, no. Now that you're in this mess, do you fight about? We fight about how I just don't want the slut in my house. I don't want her there. We fuss a fight about me coming home one day and her and Malcolm's in the bed together talking about they reading a book. No, they're not reading a book. Were you book. reading a book in bed together? That nigga was reading the comic books. <laughs> No. <laughs> Can I please explain please, that? Please, go right ahead, Okay, Ms. first of all, we were at home. We were having some drinks. We were just pretty much chilling, you know? And we were in the room. We laid down. We were just talking about reminiscing on old things. It wasn't no sexual stuff. I wasn't naked. He wasn't naked. She came in. Like, they don't, you reminiscing in my bed, like, though. That's my bed. That's my house. You can reminisce on the couch, the backyard, the porch, McDonald's. Well, maybe we wanted to reminisce. You don't, you try hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Basic respect for the person's home that you, in which you are living, free of charge. You get in the bed when he's in his box of shorts and, and you're drinking. You don't think that's disrespectful to her? 
I, I really don't care how she feels at this point. Like, I don't. Then move. It's I'm my house. Like I care. It's He's my not house. making me move. It's my house. He's not making me move. Hey, hey. He'll go with hey. Mr. Johnson, now that this relationship is in an end, you want to uh, be reimbursed certain sums. You say she <laughs> put some of your stuff out of the house or destroyed it. She is Tell crazy. me what it is and what she did with it and how much it cost. Okay. One night, I'll go out with the fellas. We go to Potawatomi. Let's not make this a long story. Okay. We go out. I come back in about 3 in the morning. She's mad about it. She calls me and my friends some lying, cheating bastards. All of us lies and cheaters on our wives and girlfriends. So I know how that gets. So I just was going to leave and go to my friend's house for the night. So I'm leaving. She comes to the balcony like, oh, so you're not taking this stuff with you? She's talking about my clothes. So she gets to launching my buckets of clothes off of the back porch. Just launching them off of them. I'm like, come on now. Don't. I'm like, don't do that. I'm trying to talk to her. She left the back. She locked the back door I couldn't even get in so she what, what did xbox, she launch she she launched my tv took the xbox out and had a big monkey wrench on the top where she said you want this too and i'm like please don't do it and before i even get all my words out she just got to smash into pieces and how long ago was this this is about two months ago two months ago now let me ask you about the overall you know that nigga was hurt off that xbox bro that's why he been looking like that the whole time <laughs> i just want i just want to play 2k Economic circumstances in your household. This nigga Anthony talking about he just ate some edibles. I'm drowsy. Who is working? We both working. Yeah. His job is not as serious as mine. It's a little card. Okay. Who's the primary breadwinner? Let me do, say it that way. She is. Now, since you are now no longer going to be together, are you planning on paying child support? Sure, that's what I have to do. Is it? If it's what you have to do? Yeah, I, I, because I, I, how I really feel, I, I, I'm going to take care of my son, but if child support... Oh, you won't even see him ever again. Well, if now it, let's it, not go... Uh, I hate that. I really hate that. I don't care how you feel about the other parent. The child needs both of them in life. No, like, jokes aside, like, come on now. There, let's not go there. You see him again. He needs his father. Just because his father is a little You just told me that. Hey, his hey, father hey, 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 hey. Ms. Osborne, I'm trying to talk to you. Far be it from me to paint the rest of us with, with what the least of us are. But you're really showing a very basic level of disrespect I often see in our community that's really going to dis, just kill us from the inside out. We don't respect each other as sisters. You know, you do whatever to each other and it's perfectly okay because it's something that you you don't say hey this is my community this is th this, these are our children this is our life what you do is i'm hot i'm mad i want him i'm gonna do it i don't care how it hurts her or how it hurts him it's unseemly it's distressing it's upsetting um you just attacking somebody to walk into to 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 take somebody's job from them because you just don't like them and then when your house burned down you go into her house and then you have the nerve to cause her chaos in her own home where she's got children that's trifling low and tacky and wrong go ahead and sit down thank you sit Mr. Johnson, you're a man in every way except the ones that count. <laughs> you're going to have to support that child, and you don't have enough money to do that. And until you do, she's on the hook totally for that kid. You got to come in here with clean hands, and you did not come in here with clean hands. I don't give money to tacky people. There will be no recovery in your favor. It is so ordered. Mm, 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 mm. All, all facts. She spoke nothing but facts this entire time. This is sad. And just like bro said, this is ten times messier than any Mari episode. Because at least in the end of Mari, dude was like, shoot, I'm going to take care of my kids. Bro. I gotta take care of my kids. <laughs> this dude was like, if that's what I got to do. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm out of here.